Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're taking a look at a brawler combo which every single pro player is using right now. I played a tournament yesterday. People gave up trying to counter this combo because it was too good and people just had to play it because it was that broken. There's actually a brawler that was actually rated I believe F tier on Kairos' tier list. One of the worst brawlers in the game. But it is not one of the worst brawlers in the game. It's incredibly broken. Before we get into it, of course, do make sure you're subscribed because 65% of you guys are not subscribed. Also, if you're picking anything up in the shop, make sure you're using code TOM and let's jump into it. Okay, so of course, the brawler and the combination I'm talking about is Ash with either one healer or two healers. So Ash with like a Poco Byron. It's so broken. It's being used everywhere in tournaments right now. And I actually called this over two weeks ago in a previous video. Let's show that clip. But I do think Ash is going to be an absolute beast when paired with like two healers. Okay, so jumping into the first one, I'm going to show you exactly how it works. All you have to do, you either have one or two healers, you have an Ash, and uh, so I've instructed my teammates to literally do nothing but heal me up this entire game. So hopefully they listen to my advice here and uh, we can run up here. Okay, we're just gonna chill. But yeah, we constantly get healed. As you can see, we're gonna keep this maximum rage, which obviously is pretty insane because you do 2.2K per shot, which is absolutely insane. My teammates gonna heal me up here and we are gonna continue to just push. Look at this, it's just so broken. I just don't know how, like how people didn't, discover it before now like it's <laughs> i just don't know why people didn't try it before because it is just incredibly broken we are playing against two hard counters here being a jesse and also the tara or at least counters you would expect to uh, counter me or brawlers you'd expect to counter me we are eventually gonna get taken out there after a ton of supers get thrown at us but essentially if you are not against hard counters, it's going to be an easy game. You're just going to be able to run through them. And even if you are playing some pretty difficult counters, you're still going to be able to win. And that's just how good this combination is. Uh, the, the fact that you can just win against against counters is just so, so good. Looks like someone was playing my mini there. They managed to miss a Tara pool. And yeah, as you can see, we have maximum rage here. And we are just getting healed up. So we are just getting insane damage. We are like basically... We basically can't die. Because we do 2.2k per shot. And we never need to use our gadget. We never need to basically lose this rage that we have. Uh, because obviously we never need to heal up. Because our teammates are constantly healing us. We are ultimating a little bit too much now. I definitely don't recommend doing that. Because uh, ultimating with Ash is a bit rough. Let me just tell you that. Unless you are literally uh, standing next to somebody. But as you can see, we could just walk through them. It's insane. Okay, so jumping in to the first game. It's going to be a hard rock run up mine. So it's not a bad map for this combo to work. Um... Yeah, of course, we have the Byron here, uh, which is going to be our healer of choice for this comp. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So essentially, okay, nice kills from my teammates there. We're going to push up. We're not going to get too many heals, it doesn't look like. Okay, nice. 2k a shot is actually insane when you think about it. They're both one shot. We are going to go down. Nice taps from my Byron. Um, but yeah, you really want to play this strategy on like as close range maps as you can. But honestly, I think it can work everywhere because I do think that it is kind of that strong. As you can see, that's going to be a 2k shot, enough to take down that spike. We are not getting too many heals from our Byron because we are just playing on solo power league. So it's not like he knows this strategy perfectly. Uh, but of course, if you're playing with your teammates, your friends or whatever, they'll probably, of, of course, know the strategy and uh, be able to kind of help you out, heal you up and keep you alive when you have that maximum rage. So you... As the Byron or the Poker, whichever healer you are, you really want to make sure you are focusing that healing when you have maximum rage. So like now, when I have uh, good rage, you want to make sure you keep that rage, obviously, uh, because it's going to mean you deal more damage. Obviously, you have that extra speed as well. Uh, so yeah, definitely make sure you're focusing the healing when you have that rage, so you uh, keep that rage and in turn can stay uh, an absolute beast because when you get maximum rage with uh, ash yeah he's insane okay so hopping in to the next one i wonder if they're gonna swap lanes or something but yeah that was pretty easy not like we even did anything um because it's not the ideal map it is a little bit too a bit it too long range to be honest and like a spike is a uh, spike's one of the best counters to ash actually uh because it, it's similar to nita i would say ashes in terms of mechanics and everything like that but yeah it looks like we just gonna run up here we're not getting healed as much as i'd like to be because as I said, we're just playing solo power league here. So I don't know. I don't think this Byron really understands uh, the power of the strategy. But soon, I believe, you know, we're going to have to see an Ash nerf because... Or at least a nerf into a way, like, the heal kind of interacts with this Brawler. Because it is just going to be too good very soon. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to get healed up here, as you can see. I'm going to push. Spike is probably close somewhere. Okay. Teammate's going to go down. Not ideal. We are going to go push this bell, actually. 
Okay, nice. We're actually going to pop that gadget to keep us alive as well because we were very, very weak because we might actually be able to get this. We should be able to. Okay, it looks like we have really good pressure there. Anyway, potentially Nisho is going to be able to pick up gems. And yeah, definitely looking pretty strong for us right here. Okay, going to go push the spike. I don't know if Spike knows I'm here. Okay, going to just push. Okay, we got to be careful. How much damage are we doing? Okay, we're going to have to heal up there because I think we would have died. But yeah, we really want to make sure we do heal up here. Spike is close, but not that it matters too much. We're still in a good position for, like, the turnaround here uh, because we have really good pressure. We're going to wait for their teammate to respawn. Hopefully, my Baron can kind of spam with heals. And, uh, yeah, let's see how we can do. Okay, that's going to be Spike going down. We are just going to push them here. We are going to go down. I think they can probably get a reset. Ooh, okay, almost a reset here. Anyway, getting into the next one. Um, yeah, as I said, Spike is Spike is definitely, like, a really good counter to... Um, Good counter to us. And I mean, we're good against Sandy, so we might as well go against Sandy. If they actually swapped, why did they swap? They they literally destroy us because they had the right amount of chips. And then they go, they go and swap. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, we are going to just stay here for a second. Going to start to push up, honestly. Looks like Spike's pretty weak. Okay, they did actually just swap really quickly. But I think we can honestly just hold this pressure for most of the game. Because now that we're in that bush, yeah, we should just be good. Um, we're just gonna push this. Okay, looks like Bar oh Bow, sorry, is gonna be there. That's gonna be a free kill for us. And then we actually deal 2k per shot when we have maximum rage. We gotta take it. That is so unlucky. We literally I thought our, our things or our super would tank a little bit, our, our bots. But they didn't. Okay, Nisso needs help with Sandy. Obviously, Sandy does kind of hard counter. Um Ara. This can be one one Sandy super. Okay. We're back. We're like pretty good rage right here, so we're gonna deal a decent amount of damage. We're gonna wait for the Sandy's to pop up. Maybe it'll just be here. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah. Sandy's gonna be there. I'm just gonna push honestly because I can't really help out my teammate. Um, and he should be okay anyway. It looks like okay. Nesso's done a good job of getting behind them. Spike's close. Gonna put this down here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna push up for a second. It looks like we are in a really, really good position. So because we're both in the grass, it's gonna be really hard for them to kind of push out, especially if the Byron is just out here healing me. Uh, we're going to try and dodge this curveball, but it is very difficult when you're next to a wall sometimes to kind of dodge that curveball. Okay, let's go and push this. going to try and dodge. Okay, nice. 2.2k per shot. It's so, so good. And then, of course, you just pop that gadget. Uh, we are going to go down, but of course, that caused a ton of pressure because they both had to kind of focus me to make sure I didn't get out with those gems. We need one more gem here, and it should be a dub. Okay, Sandy is pinching out Nissa, so we can just push up right here because I know Nissa has a ton of pressure. I'm gonna put these down. Look at all the spam we have here. Sandy definitely pretty solid at dealing with that, but we're gonna get one shot in. All the splash is gonna come in. It's gonna wrap it up for this one, and uh, that is another dub here. Um, we're actually getting very close to Master, so yeah, let's see how kind of close we are. Okay, we got a little bit of rank, but not too much. Okay, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the video. So, yeah, I think there is going to be need to be some kind of nerf. Um, not to Ash, but mainly to the healing that Ash receives from other brawlers. Uh, I think a good nerf would be basically every time you get healed by another brawler, you lose a little bit of that rage. Um, so, you can't essentially use this completely broken strategy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. Make sure to like one and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.